You are now being recorded. <coughs> Back to the hobby shop, my <laughs> briefly. Um, running joke in the family, my mother says she always branded me as far as the trains go. When she was carrying me, she was she was actually the modeler in the family. Uh, Dad could care less. <laughs> he was more interested on running tractors and whatever he could do on sitting on his ass. Mom was the hard worker. <laughs> and she built... Uh, Several locomotive kits from the old Varney and Bowser and Mantua kits, huh. which I still have two of, that she built when she was carrying me. So she says her her family joke is, yeah, I marked him. Huh. <laughs> Even they had trains back then? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just kidding. That was in the, that was in the uh, prehistoric ages of right. the hobby. Which would be like 1972. Yeah, yeah. right. So it's going on with the fiction that you're 49 years old. <laughs> Unlike today, the hobby where you just open up a box and put it on the track, you had to know how to build things. Yeah. So do you, do you mind if I ask you, where, where was this hobby shop in Santa Clara? On Franklin Street. On Franklin, okay. The name of the shop was Santa Clara Hobbies. So that's not the same Santa Clara Hobbies that's there today. Oh, is there's a Santa Clara Hobbies there now? Well, it's not on Franklin. It's on, it's on Scott Boulevard and Winchester, whatever that would be called right there. That's Santa Clara Train Shop or something like that. I'm not familiar with that hobby uh, what, shop. As far as you know, what happened to your, your 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 folks hobby shop? Oh, it was it was in the middle of that huge urban renewal project of the mid '60s. Okay. And uh, it got bulldozed down. Oh. Along with the rest of the buildings there in about a five or six block area. So they area. they closed the business center. Right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. They just closed it down. We moved to Santa Cruz. Wow. And that's where I finished my education up. Wow. Was in Santa Cruz and SoCal. Huh. And what was that education in pot farming? Yeah. Yeah. No. No. No, no, no. Actually, my major in high school was music. Really? Yeah. Wow, no kidding. So what do you play? Drums. No kidding. Yeah, I was a drummer. Wow, we're getting like the behind the scenes, behind the scenes with Ed here today. We're getting like, and, the whole uh, life story here. So you were a drummer? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I was in the school marching band and all that happy horse shit. Wow. Huh. So what happened? Uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, well, I still play occasionally. But I got interested in hot rods and going fast and cars and girls and same old teenage story, you know. It sounds like a plan. And uh, a little bit of alcohol involved, probably. And more than a little bit. <laughs> but uh, trains always stayed with me all my life. The interest never faded. Yeah, we can see from the collection that you have here. You, you've been collecting. Yeah, there's a sign on your wall right behind you. What does it say again? It's I've been collecting. Been collecting trains most of my life, and the rest of the time was wasted, or something like that. Exactly. Yeah, that's pretty funny. So, yeah. what, what's the next story we're going to get out of you today? What do you want? I don't know. What's going on with you and the VNT? Um, or what's going on with the VNT? People want to know. I was just up at the VNT, so I'll have that video posted separately. So we actually we actually went through the Carson City car and the Gold Hill and Silver City, and Tom. Yeah, you know, Tom pretty much covered everything happening up there. So I didn't know if you had any. Well, I'm, I'm pretty much. I'm in touch with Charlie, the, the master mechanic up there. Patrick's up there. And, uh, yeah, Patrick comes up every other week. Nice to see him back. Yeah, and, uh, oh, shit, all I can think of is Short Bus. That's his nickname. Uh, that's um, Patrick, Short Bus. Oh, yeah, Pat. Patrick, Short Bus. Patrick oh, that's Patrick. That's what yeah. I meant. Not UP Patrick. Yeah, Patrick no, UP Patrick. Pat, UP Patrick's up there every other week. Yeah, but I meant Short Bus Patrick was up there. Short there. Bus Patrick is back. That was nice. Yeah. 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 I'm glad to see him back. Yeah, yeah I was too, yeah. yeah he's, he's not a bad worker, and he's got a good heart. He just needs to remember that he's firing oil and not coal. <laughs> that's funny. So That's funny. So, um, well, let's get back to your story here. So you, you guys, you grew up in the San Jose area and went to Santa Cruz, and you worked for the Southern Pacific, you said, mm -hmm. and that was in a Watsonville area. Yep. So what was that all about? Um, I hired out when I was 18. Oh, no, excuse me. I was 20 when I hired out. And uh, I was engaged at the time, got married, and... Big mistake. No, just kidding. No. You got your kids out of that, right? What kids? Oh, I thought you had a child. Oh, you have a stepchild. I have a stepson. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. He's, he calls me dad, and I call him my kid. So. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Yeah, he wound up being my fireman for so you, a year on the VNT, as a matter of fact. So you got married to his fiance, and that ended your railroad career. But yeah, what, pretty much. But how, didn't like the hours. But how was the railroad career? Oh, it was great. I mean, it was very, very short, but it was very, very fun. And, uh... I don't kick myself. I got I got hired right at the tail end of the old traditional railroaders. And before the change, before the mega mergers, before all this happy shit came down to where 
we're at now as far as the railroading world. And goes. all these rules and, and all those regulations, bean counters. Well, also after nine yeah. eleven, no more kids riding in the cabs, no more fun. Yeah, right? pretty much. Big security world. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, you weren't supposed to have civilians in the cab anyway, but they did. But you did, yeah, and it was uh, accepted, yeah. Yeah, it was accepted. And now, now you get fired for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So liability. Yeah, well, and even even the VNT has to be careful on those runs where you're on the runs where you're doing it for the for the government. You have to be careful about letting people cab ride, right? Uh, there is no very 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 seldom unless he's a friend, uh, or I hate to say it, a celebrity. Yeah. Uh, do people get in the cab? And well, even then, there's a charge. If I stop and think about it, I'm not sure I've ever had a cab ride in the 18 because that's the commission locomotive, and. I've had plenty of cab rides in the 29, but I can't recall if I've ever... I don't believe I've ever actually been in the cab of the 18 while it's been moving. Not when I was up there. Yeah. Not when I was firing. And so they're... So they're, they're t- and I think it's because they want to sell cab rides, and so they don't want people thinking they're getting it for free. Well... Well, plus, you know, I, I, I mean, I kissed and made up with the commission, you know, last year before I ended up bailing from Nevada. You know, so now they probably wouldn't mind. But, yeah. You know, there was always a low C factor. <laughs> yeah. But when it was the 29, now the 29 apparently is running really sweet. Charlie, Charlie Cross today told me that the 29 what, it used to scare him when he first started running it, and that now it's like the sweet little old lady, not little old lady, but the sweet lady of locomotives or something like that. She, she, she's in a lot better shape than she was three years ago. Is that right? That's no fault to Tom's, that's no fault to anybody's, it's just we got lucky with Charlie. Yeah. Charlie is, to me, he's basically a kid Yeah. with... As much knowledge as some of the old timers that I used to work with. Yeah, Charlie. Especially he's sharp. He's a sharp kid, good little machinist, a conscientious about his job, about his work. He's straight, is the main and thing. He doesn't mess around with drugs. And uh, you can just no, tell the, no. You can tell that the kid's not an alcoholic and he's straight. And no, he like the rest of us. He likes his beer after oh, yeah. work. There's nothing wrong with that. But he's not. He doesn't abuse anything. Yeah. And he's reliable. You can count on him to be there. And he knows his shit. And he's got a work ethic, and it makes him kind of yeah. rare. That's, he's yeah. kind of a rare kid, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. yeah he's like so all you, kids, all you kids listening, listen to that, you know. He's like 21 <laughs> going on 55. He is, yeah. You know? Yeah. And he's still, and he's got, still 22, apparently. Well, no, that's right, 22. He just had a birthday here a couple months ago. But uh, Charlie is a godsend to the VNT. I mean, he just... Oh, definitely, yeah. yeah. Well, he came out of Ely. Patrick came out of Ely. So the Ely program um, generated a lot of good kids. Ely's loss, our gain. Yeah, no kidding. You know, and he's you know, he's been down there working on that project in Independence too, that Carson and Colorado project. Yeah. So, yeah. so you got you got five minutes left. So, what part of Ed's life story do you want to get out here? Because I don't know when I'm coming back to Nevada. Where? And just just let me give people a little. You know, for those of you that haven't figured it out, I live in Utah now. At least I was living in Utah. Now I don't know where I'm going to go. But I have a, a channel called Utah Rail, which I really haven't done very much with. But so I don't know. This might be it for Ed show for a little while. So we'll see. So what's what's the rest of the story here? Well, it's like down here in the showcase. I don't know if you can get a shot of that. Yeah, I can. Yeah. But that large, large line nail engine in the back. Oh yeah, look at that. That what? is my first train. No kidding. That was bought out of a hardware store. Sweet. Look by at my that grandmother. Thing. That's amazing. Wow. And I don't have the cars or the track anymore, but. For some reason, the engine was salvaged. I had it restored 20 years ago. That's amazing. And it'll probably wind up going to the burner with me. Wow. Wow. And that's why we're here in an undisclosed location. So nobody but gets to know where this beautiful train collection is. You had... Uh, <laughs> Dick, Dick Cheney's in the other room. This is undisclosed. You had you, you asked about what's going on with the V&T. Charlie's been doing a lot of work on both the 18 and the 29. Okay. Um, the 29 received some major repairs last operating season. She's in pretty good shape. The 18, uh, she's getting her mains worked on, so yeah. that pound that everybody hears if they go to YouTube yeah. is unmistakable. It's so loud. Yeah, clank, 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 uh, clank. Yeah. It's going to be gone. They are, float- they are floating mains, so they will clank some, but not like they're doing now. Yeah, well, Charlie gave us a good tour of that. He actually took this camera and climbed up in the cab and looked inside the firebox and was explaining the work that was going on in yeah. there. So, yeah, Charlie gave us a little bit of an update on the Charlie Cross show. Which is competing for viewers with the Ed Gallagher show, but I think Ed Gallagher still gets more viewers. I don't mind the competition. Charlie deserves whatever whatever he whatever is watched on YouTube. He deserves it. Yeah. He works hard. But I just thought of a question. I hope you don't I hope the I hope the guy I'm asking about doesn't mind, but did you ever go on that date with Matt thirty nine eighty five? Did you guys kiss or anything like that? I'm just kidding. Oh baby, what a night to remember. <laughs> no. so, sorry, Matt, I had to I know you're out there watching this. I had to say nah. that. 
in, in fact, I've never... Well, Matt didn't, says... Didn't you guys talk on the phone one time or not? No, um, I'm still trying. I tried uh, about 10 days ago. Is that right? Hold of him. Oh my gosh, that's well, like... He's, that's what, like 18, he's 18, 19, he's running around with his dick in his hand having a good time. <laughs> you know, he... In school, trying to get smart. Right. And uh, whatever. And he's doing his Thomas stuff, which is really cool. Yeah. I haven't really followed YouTube much lately, so I don't know what he's up to. Um, he's just doing this. You, I, I don't know either because, like I said, we can't we can't seem to hook up. But So you haven't kissed him yet? No. Uh, okay. No, no, no. And I, I don't think I'm his type anymore. Uh, probably not, yeah, since you like <laughs> girls. Yeah, I think he does too, yeah. Yeah. No, I don't like girls. I love girls. Yeah, right. No kidding. Yeah. And, uh, but... Uh, he, I think we've met, but I cannot place him or remember. Is that right? Uh, I meet so many people. I don't think he's VNT. been out to the VNT. Oh, no, he did no, come he in did and come out at one time, didn't he? he That's came right. Out, yes. And you're not talking about the gay cowboy. We're talking about Matt 3985. Uh, so you're down under two minutes here, so you got to get your good stories out. Uh, two minutes. Can't do anything in two minutes except for um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Keep watching, and whenever Jim and I can hook up, we'll post something new. Right on, and now we're actually down to well. It says one minute. It might it might mean more, but so so you're going to be the fireman on the um, on whatever they're running. You're going to be on the long run this year. Yes, as far as you know. Cool. Yes, cool. yes. I got I got called by Charlie, and Charlie told me that uh, I will have the Carson City run. Gotcha. That, that's my run. Well, let's take up the last like whatever's left here. Is there anything like, up, up here you want to show off or talk about? I mean, Ed's not got, really. I mean, it's just model trains. Let's just take a look here. They're scale models. They're not toys. Yep, that's they right. They are toys, but they're not... They're not toys. They're not toys. What's that picture up there? Uh, that's a Denver and Rio Grand Western engine. Wow. That uh, I commissioned when I lived in Colorado in 1982. That, that's a... What is that, then? A painting or something? Um, it's Indian ink with... Uh, it's scratch, is what it is. It's a scratch art technique. The black goes on the canvas, and then the white is scratched off. It's a... It's a oh, white no kidding. Paper. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Well, I think it says zero, zero time, so we're almost out of time here. So I'm just going to, so this is a rabbit. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're a little short on light, so we set up this little studio light in here. So, Ed, you got to go bye-bye. Take care, folks. All right, and we'll do this again sometime. All right, stay safe. Yep.